just, I think, over the last week, there's been a huge amount of novices. So if you get a chance, if you haven't seen these run, I think they're worth looking up. So I'm going to give you nine novice hurdlers and nine novice chasers. Okay, let me, I'm going to get my pen and paper ready. Jeez. Well, I'll give you, you can take a picture of this later I don't, I, I prefer to write it all down, <laughs> so I can just, then put... Just don't do these that are too long. We, we learnt with Rishi last week. Can't spell. No. Okay. And they only Easy. have to be eight, I'll send you a text. eight characters. So, actually, if you do send me a text. I'll send you a WhatsApp. <laughs> okay. Just, so, just for now, though, novice hurdlers, should we start and, with those? Yeah, and because I'm Irish, one of them hasn't jumped a hurdle yet. But, well, obviously. I mean, you know, so we just do things a bit funny. Taken as given. Uh, so the first one was on Tubber. was very impressive last Tuesday okay. in, in Fairy House for Henry. Will Mount, you've mentioned. The next one is Brighter Days Ahead, who's now 5-1, to 6-1 to one favourite for the Mayor's Novice Hurdle. I thought very good last week. Yeah, excellent. Um, the worry with her going right-handed was that thoroughly she jumped out to her left, whereas the other day in down right she didn't. Her jumping needs to sharpen up a little bit, but she's only four. She's well-related. She's won two bumpers. Now she's won a graded Novice Hurdle. She's entitled to be favoured. Her time was very quick. Her time was actually quicker than Irish Point. Okay. Which is interesting. Uh, Firefox who won the bumper on Friday. He's going straight in Novice Hurdle and he looks quite good. A down memory lane looked to have more gears than you, Richie, in your Ferrari uh, on Saturday in Down Royal. Um, it was a weak race. The time wasn't good, but he just looked like he had plenty of toe. Okay. Uh, two horses from Goran Park on Saturday, Beckett Rock and Il Atlantique. Il Atlantique is Willie's ran in some good bumpers last year, was very impressive uh, out in front. Would remind you a small bit of Energamine, same colours obviously, uh, but will make a lovely chaser. But Beckett Rock, please put that one into your tracker. Uh, it's there. This, no, this, this is my this, tracker. This was, this was a very, very nice performance. Okay, well, uh, it was a couple of seconds quicker than in Little Antique on bad ground. Uh, if he shows up in the Royal Bond, he'd have a squeak amongst down memory lane and Little mm -hmm. Antique, etc. Slade Steel was good on Sunday in Nace and also south of the border for Nicky in Sandown on Sunday was very good. And then Novice Chasers. Oh, wait. Chasers. Shorthand. <laughs> yeah. Novice, Novice Chasers. Oroco Cha last Tuesday in Warwick was excellent. Very His good. jumping was yeah. fantastic. I think we all agree that he has to be up in the high rankings. Now, they're, they're debating which, is he going two miles, three miles, two and a half, but you'd imagine the Turners would suit him at the moment. Yes. Um, so he looks exciting. Imagine was good in Ferrius on Tuesday. Beat a horse call. I know the way you're thinking who flashed home. Stay away, Faye, on Friday and Exeter. We mentioned uh, that horse. I wasn't blown away. Uh, I think if the horse gets beat in the meantime, the National Hunt Chase would definitely suit much better than the Brown Advisory. Found a 50 was excellent in Down Royal. Uh, jumped really well. Harmonia Mako was good in Gorham Park on Saturday. Um, Napper's Hill, we mentioned, win Canton jump fantastic. Giovinco, we didn't mention, wins an entry off 143. Um, the fence is out as usual. Uh, but overall, his jumping was, was quite good. He unseated in Carlisle, as we know. Um, he's an exciting chaser. Uh, wasn't blown away, but it was still a very good performance. Mm. He's giving weight away, I suppose, and without yeah. the fences, it's harder work, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, two more is Grange Clare West. Um, yeah, what do you make of that? Now, I was, I was quite impressed with Grange Clare West, mm -hmm. but it's not the first time that he's produced an impressive performance. Yeah. He, um, he was very exciting this time last year, in November, when he won a maiden hurdle in Avon. Then he disappointed twice, and then he wins a punch down. So it'll be interesting to see where he goes next. I'm not sure if he'll go for the Drinmore or not. Uh, will he wait for, for Christmas? Uh, but he was good. Um, the horse in third belonging to Emmett Mullins was slightly disappointing, I'd say. The, the favourite and the rest. Corbett's Cross. Corbett's Cross. Yeah. Uh, but Grange Clare West jumping. Most of the novices that I'm pointing out here, their jumping has been fantastic over the last week, which is good. And then the last one to mention of the nine chasers is Ile Francais uh, from Otay on Sunday. Um, Who's coming over for the, the Corto Star. Star. Yeah. Yes. And uh, J'aime le Cheval. That's all I'd say. I like the horse. Very good. Okay. Uh, he's two from two over fences, was five out of six over hurdles. At the time he got beat, he ran behind Thalem, who was also very good at the weekend. Um, but Ile Francais was excellent. His jumping is brilliant. He ran in those races where there's hurdles and bigger fences and mm -hmm. all different shapes of, of fences, but he was excellent. So if he comes to Kempton, I think he's English-owned, perhaps, or they have a share in him, so he would be exciting in Kempton. He'd add a lot to the day, I think. Absolutely.